Hey guys, this video is all about a German university. This university is well known for its computer science department and more specifically we will see what are the computer science related courses available at this world renowned university. Over here I am talking about the Saarlen University which is in Germany and this video is all about the Saarlen Informatics Campus SIC. We will see all the study programs offered at the informatics campus of Saarland. Then the requirements for those programs being as an international student. Then which qualification exams are needed at the time of application. And what is the tuition fees for the study programs offered at this university. We will also see about the job perspective or job opportunities after completing your masters at this university. With that said guys, welcome to the channel. This is Vikas and let's start. First of all, talking about the university, there are 800 scientists and more than 2000 students from 81 countries in the Saarland Informatics campus. This makes the informatics campus one of the leading locations for computer science in Germany and in Europe. Five globally renowned research institutes, namely the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence DFKI, the Max Planck Institute for Computer Science, the Max Planck Institute for Software Systems, the Center for Bioinformatics and the Cluster for Multimodal Computing and Interaction, as well as Saarland University with three collaborating departments and 21 academic programs cover all areas of computer science. The renowned Computer Science Institute research both the fundamentals and new applications of computer science, thus enriching particularly in the fields of IT security, artificial intelligence, data science, visual computing, bioinformatics and semantic web. Let's dive into the university website. So what you are seeing right now is the Saarland Informatic Campus official website. Anyone who wants to start your education in this university, you must be aware of this website. To know what are the study programs offered at the university, first of all, go to the range of courses link. Over here, you will find many courses offered at the university. These are the bachelor's degree programs as well as the master's degree programs. This web page gives you the information of the catalog of programs available at this university. Also, there are a few links which will explain you the process of applying to various degrees, for example, applying to BSc or MSc degree and also being as an international student, what are the things you have to consider at the time of application. Let's go to the computer science MSc program. I will click onto the link and land up on this page. As you can see, there are multiple other programs available at the university. But if you are talking about the computer science department, as you see, they have given you a few links. I will click on to the application deadline link. And as you can see, May 15th is the application deadline for the winter semester, whereas November 15th is the application deadline for the summer semester or the summer intake. The winter semester starts in the month of October, whereas the summer semester starts in the month of April. Now, if you want to study at this university for the computer science programs and want to apply for the same, select the application guide link and this is the page where you will find all the answers to your questions. First of all, they have mentioned about the basic prerequisites required for applying to the course. The three courses available under this computer science domain is MSc in computer science, MSc in data science and artificial intelligence and the third one is MSc in embedded systems. The prerequisites for the specific programs is given over here. Now talking about the language skills required, over here the ILTS you need is 7 out of 10 whereas TOEFL internet based exam you need 95 out of 120 and other as such. Other important documents needed at the time of application are your transcripts, CV, statement of purpose, letter of recommendations and GRE. Guys, please note that GRE is not mandatory, but it is highly recommended. Although if one doesn't have a GRE score, you can still apply for the course. So don't worry about that. Talking about the CV, it is also recommended that you prepare a CV in the Europa CV format whenever you are applying to any European university. So for that, I have made a video in which I have explained you how to make a CV in the Europass format for free and that too within 5 to 10 minutes. 
the link for the video is in the i button and in the description section as well now if you are interested to apply for a course so for that also i have all made a detailed video in which i have explained you the complete application process for applying to the salen university in that case i have applied to the course called as msc in embedded systems but you can refer that video for applying to other courses as well so again the link for the video is in the i button and in the description section as well so do check that out like the computer science courses there are other courses available at the university for example if i show you about the cyber security course i will click on to the more information link and then land up on the different website now this website is a course website for cyber security msc program so it is altogether a different website you can see all the details about the programs and the deadlines for the application as well so these are the programs under the sic campus or the salen informatics campus let's talk about the most important part and that's the tuition fee so this is the university website page the link for all the website i have shown you in this video uh, are in the description section well this is a german public university and you might know that uh, german public universities won't charge you any tuition fee although getting into a public university in germany is not that easy but if you get into one there won't be any tuition fees and that is one of the most important and the biggest benefit of studying in a german public university with that said i won't say that there is absolutely zero fees there is something known as a semester contribution let's see what the semester contribution for this university so as you can see the semester contribution is around 256 euros per month now this semester contribution will cover costs like the student service fee and semester ticket which will eventually cover your local transport in the city so all in all you won't have to pay any tuition fee as such when you are into a german public university and pay a small amount of semester contribution but again getting into a public german university is not that easy so you have to work hard for that now this is the part of the video for which many of you are waiting for so what are the job opportunities after completing your graduation from the salen university please note that i will be only talking about the computer science department subjects which are under the salen informatics campus the university is well known for its research in core computer sciences and many students after completing the masters from this university tend to pursue their phd but for those who wants to work at an at any company can also apply i mean can also do that because there are many it and technology companies in germany also in sasbrucken city there are companies like sap bosch amazon ford motors pwc and many more and the city being close to other major german cities like stuttgart and frankfurt you can always work in those international mncs as well uh, these mncs include apple microsoft bosch siemens porsche mercedes tesla and others The pay scale after graduating as a computer science engineer in Germany is on a higher side. According to Glassdoor, the annual average base pay of any computer engineering graduate in Germany is around 50,000 euros. Now, these are the average salaries for other job profiles in Germany. Now, 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 addressing the elephant in the room, that is the rankings. If Salen University is so famous for its computer sciences then why does the university rank relatively lower on the QS rankings well there are several reasons why Salen University doesn't feature so much in the rankings one of the reason could be the fact that although Salen has a very strong CS department the other departments are not so big many of the rankings like the qs ranking take into consideration the number of departments in the university which are strong and doing well so this might be one of the reason and because qs takes into account the size and cutting of the grass fields the number of and the number of football players and the quality of the snacks in the canteen seriously though qs and almost every other university ranking is just weird it means that if you if your university is twice as big it gets twice as many points thus the huge us institutions divided into campuses with large funding money and large number of employees conquer the rankings by sheer size whereas in europe there is a trend of dividing into small institutions 
if you merge all of these you get a super institute and that has similar funding similar number of employees and ultimately similar rankings of the ones of the ivy league institutions so the thing is pretty simple while coming to germany for your higher education don't even try to open the qs ranking website just go through the universities the university websites the pro uh, the programs they offer research about those programs research about the faculty the lab availability the labs in the university consider the city in which you will be studying in and other few factors and then make a list of universities and programs which you want to apply for so this is all about the saarland university from germany if you still have any doubts about the university and the programs available here you can ask your questions in the comment section do follow us on instagram where we provide short form content for all your study abroad related needs with that said guys thank you for watching this video please do like the button subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon and share this video to the ones who need it this is vikas signing off and all the best for your study abroad dreams goodbye